Hey, Ed, this is James over at Realty Candy. Um, you asked a question about filling out this form. So I want to show you, this is basically what I would recommend. Uh, if, you, if you needed a CRM, these are options right here. If you don't need a CRM or you already have one, I would recommend you're going to want either IDX Broker Lite or IDX Broker Platinum. You can switch between these really easily uh, once you've signed up. It's no big deal. You can send us an email. We can switch from one to the other. IDX Broker will prorate them. So it's, you're not committed to either one of them. Basically, what I tell folks is if you're on a budget and you're trying to save some money, get the IDX Broker Lite. If we run up against some of the features that you're asking about uh, that are platinum features, then we'll just get your authorization to upgrade you to platinum. What Platinum has, there's, in my opinion, there's three things that are, make Platinum uh, valuable. One of them is that it has some better mapping features built into it. The second thing is that it, if your MLS has sold data, then this it'll show sold data. Uh, the third thing is they have some market reports. And, and, and basically beyond that, there's just a whole bunch of other little um, options that they've turned on and, and tweaks and stuff that are better for platinum. So if, if you want to make sure that you have everything, I get platinum. If you're kind of on a budget, you can get light. And if you decide you want to switch from one to the other, that's not that big of a deal. Multi-level account. If you have one agent, you want to click that. If they have an office with three to 10 users and they want to show all their listings for all the agents and then have some agent pages and stuff like that, then I would click this. Um, the, the, we have some, I can show you on a Zoom or some videos, some clients that are using these office accounts in really great ways. So you'll put in your agent name and last name, address, city, uh, you know, put here United States, that would be their state, and all this other information. You're going to want to put your website. So if this, say your client is uh, alansellsalbuquerque.com, you'll want to put that. The brokerage name would be... Uh, you know, Remax results or, or whatever their office is. Um, if your client is the designated principal broker, which then they would click this box. If, if they're not, then they're going to want to put whoever the principal broker for their, M, for their brokerage is. They should know that. And their broker's email address. They should also know that. So now they can pick their MLS. So if you go to Albuquerque, there's really nothing here. But if you go to New Mexico, then you have some options. Uh, I actually met some folks that were doing the New Mexico MLS. This is Southwest MLS. So they would probably pick one of those. Um, I think Southwest MLS is the one that services Albuquerque specifically. So you can just pick whichever one of these. Again, if you're a real estate agent, you should know which MLS you're a member of. They, they pay money for that. If there's anything else that they want in here, then they can let us know. So let me just switch this. Let's say they pick IDX Broker. Um, and let's just say that they're going to do, again, let's put here New, Mex, New Mexico. Let's say they're doing Southwest MLS. Okay, so that's 90 bucks a month. And then uh, Southwest MLS also charges an additional $5 a month. Um, so you would just want to click this, click that, click I'm not a robot, and then click continue. And that would take them where they pay, uh, set up their credit card information. Their payments go directly to IDX broker. And, uh, and then we, uh, we'll get an email that lets us know that they've signed up. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And that's, that's the best way to do it.